So our orchid in review for the day is this beautiful and large Cattleya right here. This is an RLC Memory Ralph Placentia Torador and it's also times with a Cattleya Royal Pavilion Summer Splendor. And as I've mentioned, she is a large growing Cattleya and this one in particular stands at about two feet tall. And because this orchid is such a large growing orchid, the pseudobulbs are going to be so long. And for you to be able to appreciate the full potential of the blooms, it will be critical for you to stake this orchid up. Also because the actual bulbs are so long and lanky to be able to maintain and also for the health and protection of the orchid, it is also important that you stake those pseudobulbs. This is a unifoliate orchid, so you will find one leaf per pseudobulb. A wonderful and great feature about this Cattleya right here is the fact that once it is mature enough and also well established, it can actually bloom off of each and every new pseudobulb. And not only that, it can bloom multiple blooms. And this particular Cattleya right here has one flower on this spike. Then we move over here and you are seeing three buds on that spike. And if we take a look over this section, you are going to see two blooms and also one bud that is bursting at the seam and is ready to bloom. So indeed, we have a total of seven blooms and buds on this Cattleya. So as you can see, the bloom potential is quite awesome. And the bloom size on this Cattleya right here is quite incredible. You are going to get about 6 to 8 inches in diameter on this bloom. So yes indeed, it is quite incredible in size and quite amazing in its form. So now let us take a look and see just how amazing these blooms are. And if we take a look at the petals and also the sepals, you are going to notice that very bright magenta color, almost lavender-like. And then we take a look at the actual lip area right here. Oh my, look at that. Look how deep and rich and very intense the color is right there. A nice, deep and lovely magenta infused with a reddish tone. So indeed, quite a beautiful, beautiful color in the lip and a nice color combination in the entire bloom. And the feature that I do love most about this orchid right here is its shape. If we take a look at the petals, look at that. Look how broad and look how wide those petals are. And if we take a look closer, you will also notice that there is a rounded shape to the petals as well. Very circular in its form. And then if we take a look at the actual lip itself right here, you will also notice that very circular in shape as well. And then taking a look at the sides, look at there, look at there, all that ruffling going on. And even with all these beautiful ruffles that indeed accentuates this bloom, it still remains that circular form. Look. Such a rounded lip. I don't think I've seen an orchid Cattleya with such a rounded lip as this. Just so phenomenal. So broad, so wide, and so circular. And then if we take a look at the entire bloom right here, you will also notice a circular shape as well. Definitely amazing, definitely an adorable feature about this orchid and really beautifies and accentuates the form. How amazing. I just love it. And just to give you a size comparison of how large, how wide, how broad, and how circular the shape of this orchid is, there goes my hand. Hi folks. Yeah, that's how large her blooms are. And another wonderful fact about the bloom size of this orchid is the fact that it is very consistent and very uniform in its size regardless to how many orchid blooms are on one spike. Because as you can see right here, if we take a look and turn this around, this spike right here actually has three that are coming up. 
And if we take a look at the bloom size, it is still very large. So nothing changed with the bloom size at all, even though this has three on this spike. And usually with Cattleyas, the more flowers are on a spike, the smaller the flowers also tend to get. So indeed, that is not going to be the case with this orchid. You're gonna get large size orchid blooms regardless. Oh, but that's not all folks. I haven't even yet mentioned how fragrant she is. And take a look at there. That's how fragrant she is. Yes, indeed folks, this orchid blossom right here is so awesomely fragrant. And she is so intoxicating and so strong in her fragrance, in fact, that you are not only gonna smell her during the entire day, but you will also smell her at night as well. Intoxicating indeed. When she blooms, your whole household will know it. I can guarantee it. So because she is so beautiful and because she is so fragrant, you will not be able to keep your eyes or your nose off of this beauty right here. And I did forget to mention that this orchid right here is not so commonly found and is not so widely available in the orchid marketplace. So if you do run across this orchid and you love her, I would suggest that you snatch her up right away. And I do want to let you know as well, this particular orchid is on sale on my eBay and I do have her from time to time. So if you're interested in this orchid or orchids such as these, you can check me out on my eBay. And you can find me at My Adventures, and I'll also post the link below so you can join me on my eBay adventures as well. And that, my friend, is a complete orchid in review wrap for this very beautiful and fragrant orchid. Now, you guys have got to let me know exactly what you thought about this Cattleya right here. And please post those comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode. And as you guys already know, indeed, I truly do love you guys all. Mwah.